Good morning students this is Neha Ratan and today I'm going to teach you the poem The Voice of Rain written by the American poet Walt Whitman Let me first begin the poem by reading it out to you stanza by stanza and later I'm going to explain the poem to you And who art thou said I to the soft falling shower which strange to tell gave me an answer as here translated I am the poem of earth said the voice of the rain eternal i rise impalpable out of the land and the bottomless sea upward to heaven whence vaguely formed altogether changed and yet the same i descend to have the droughts atomies dust layers of the globe and all that in them without me were seeds only latent unborn and forever by day and night I give back life to my own origin and make pure and beautify it for song issuing from its birthplace after fulfillment wandering wrecked or unwrecked duly with love returns you might have noticed dear, dear students that there is no rhyming scheme in the poem which means the poem has been written in a free verse In Walt Whitman's The Voice of the Rain the personified figure of the rain compares itself to poetry in describing its own cyclical nature the rain also illuminates the essential characteristics of poetry the rain thereby functions as an extended metaphor for poetry itself asserting that poetry not only shares a rain life uh, like life cycle but is also vital and nourishing for the world in response to the speaker's question who art thou the rain identifies itself as the poem of earth establishing the rest of the poem as an extended metaphor the rain then describes the three stages of its life cycle the first being evaporation eternal i rise impalpable out of the land and the bottomless sea the rain has not yet taken physical form much like the initial thoughts behind a poem exist before taking shape on a page this line may also refer to the poetic tradition of drawing inspiration from the natural world as though a poem is rising from nature itself the next stage you can call it condensation upward to heaven whence vaguely formed altogether changed and yet the same the rain is now a cloud which corresponds to the poet's initial composition of a poem when their ideas come together to form a physical work the final stage is precipitation the point at which the rain at last falls to the earth I descend to leave the droughts atomies dust layers of the globe here the rain is crucial to the world's health and survival nourishing it after drought continuing the extended metaphor the poem makes it clear towards the end that the rain again highlights its uh, role as a life sustaining force claiming that poetry is just as essential The rain explains how seeds would remain seeds only latent and born without its help and how it gives back life to its own origin that is it evaporates from one place and later returns water to the same place similarly poetry brings inspiration to readers who may be inspired to write their own poems and thus continue the creative cycle the rain's mention of unborn seeds also situates poetry as a life source suggesting that humans need poetry to grow just like seeds need rain the final two lines draw direct link between poetry and rain how for song issuing from its birthplace after fulfillment wandering wrecked or unwrecked duly with love returns like rain poetry or the song rises from a point of origin wanders 
perhaps like a cloud as it assumes a form and then returns to its creator with love regardless of whether it was noticed or appreciated that means it is not important for the poet to realize whether his poem or his creativity has been appreciated or not the word love further enriches the connection that the poem draws between poetry and rain until this point the rain described its life cycle as natural and perhaps unavoidable but here it seems instead like an act of love the rain's personification was already clear from the poem's onset and yet the rain now seems like a more complex soulful being for it is capable of loving the earth on which it falls so basically the poem pays homage to the restorative power of the natural world and claims that poetry nourishes humanity just as rain nourishes the earth dear students dear students i hope you must have understood the poem thank you and have a nice day